you need a working game. And FRSC installed correctly. Step one, duplicate your profile. Open Vortex, make sure profiles are enabled and clone your default profile you're using and enable it. You'll see that your mods are enabled and just purge your mods. Open Mod Modernizer 2. Click the Profiles button and click Copy and make a duplicate of your default profile. Step two, let's make a dummy Fallout 4 folder to trick your mod manager. Start by clicking the root of your drive. Make a new folder I called Mines Games. And make another folder Steam Apps, lower, all lowercase. Then inside of Steam Apps, Common, all lowercase. And then Fallout 4. If you're here from how to disable Steam updates for Fallout 4 for good, you can just uh, delete Steam apps and just make a Fallout 4 folder. It doesn't have to be here, it can be anywhere you want. Step 3. Find your Fallout 4 folder. You can do this by right clicking Fallout 4, Manage, Browse Local Files, and just select the Fallout4.exe, copy it. find a new folder you made and paste it in the Fallout 4 folder. Step 4. Open your mod managers and keep them open. It is crucial you do this or you're going to run into an error, but if you do, I got you. Open Vortex. Go to Games, click dot 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 and click Manually Set Location. Then find a new path you made and then select the folder. You're gonna get an error, but that is fine. Now open your Fallout 4 folder again and select all the contents and cut. Right click and cut or control X. Then go back to your new folder and paste it in the Fallout 4 folder and let it overwrite the Fallout4.exe. Just close out Vortex, restart it, and when you go to mods, everything is still enabled. Uh, the last thing we have to do is check FRFC, and it should automatically go to the new folder. But if it doesn't, you can just click open folder and click the FRFC loader.exe. You shouldn't have to if FRFC is installed correctly, then click deploy mods. Enable your main profile if you have saves on them or else you won't have saves when you load into the game. I suggest enabling your main profile anyways, so you can delete your test one, and load FRSC, and then the game should load correctly. If you messed up moving with Vortex, open Vortex and you're gonna get a lot of errors and the Fallout 4 is going to be deactivated. So just search for Fallout 4 and search for a game and click Manage and click Continue. And then you're going to find your new Fallout 4 folder and select it. And now when you go to Mods, every mod will be disabled. You can enable them one by one or you can go back to your profiles and enable your default, default profile and the default profile should still have all your mods enabled. And then click FRSC to load it and load the game. Open Mod Organizer 2 and you're going to go to Settings, click Pass, and go to Manage Game and click dot dot dot. Now find your new Fallout 4 EXE and open it and click OK. Then restart Mod Organizer 2. Now find your Fallout 4 folder 
select all the content and cut and cut the content. So control X and paste it into the new folder and replace the flaw for .exe. Now go to MO2, click the drop down and click edit. Now press minus on all the shortcuts and restart MO2. Now F4SC should be directed to the right path. Enable your main profile if you have saves on them or else you won't have saves and delete your test profile. Now you can run the game and everything should be good to go. Now if you messed up, MO2. If you messed up, you'll get an error that says this, press OK and click Browse. Now go to your new Fallout 4 folder and select it. And MO2 will open, go to the drop down and click the minus on all the shortcuts, press apply and OK. Restart MO2. Now F4SC should be there correctly and you can run it and the game should load correctly with all your saves in it. And that is how to move your Fallout 4 out of the program files. So thank you for watching. I hope it helped. And uh, like always, happy modding.